If you have a KRX 1000 and your check engine light is coming on, or if you have a suspension or power steering warning light coming up, you don't necessarily need to take your machine to the dealership. You can use the self-diagnostic feature on your machine, which is what we're gonna show you how to do today, and then get some OEM parts on our website. They're just under the OEM diagram. There are two different types of screens that come on these KRXs. So if you have a special edition or an ES model, it's gonna be a different screen than a base model or some of the older models. So we're gonna show you how to do it on the special editions first and then show you that other style of screen. So we've gone ahead and removed our steering wheel just so you guys can see the screen better. You do not need to do that, but you do need to make sure your battery is fully charged before you start this process. So from here, what we need to do is turn the key to the on position. So we're on this meter screen. We can see we've got a light flashing at us. So let's check it out. What we need to do first is hit the return button. And from this screen, we just need to use the up and down arrows to scroll to vehicle information. We'll select that. And we've got the air codes highlighted. So I'm gonna select it. And we have three codes. So we've got an intake temperature sensor failure, water temperature, and a front right suspension failure. So these are gonna be listed in numerical order. And some of them, like this suspension one, it's got a letter by it. Now you can take these codes and look them up in your service manual. Now we don't really have issues on any of our sensors, but I've unplugged all of these just to show you guys the process and what it looks like if one of your sensors does go bad. But in your manual, next to each listed code, it's gonna have some recommended diagnostic checks to go through. Typically, you wanna use your digital multimeter and you're gonna check the sensor and related wiring. Once you've taken a look at that code, you can go ahead and flip the manual open to the specific sensor, and that's gonna give you more details and guidance through those specific checks. From this screen, we can simply turn the key off or we can use our return button to go back to the main menu. Now, with this stuff, once you make your repair, your check engine light should come off and you wanna verify that you made the correct repair by idling the machine for a few minutes, making sure that you don't have any lights coming on, and then you wanna go for a drive, typically over 18 miles an hour, and do that for a few minutes as well. Make sure nothing comes back on. Now, if you have the other type of display, what you're gonna do is use the bottom button, scroll until you have the odometer pulled up. Then you're gonna press the top button for two seconds, and that should display your codes. The codes are two digits, and they're gonna be in this lower right-hand corner. They can be paired with a letter, and if you have multiple codes, it's just gonna go in sequence from the lowest number to the highest order, and then it's gonna repeat that all the way through. And then again, once you make your repairs, those codes should no longer appear on this screen. That's all there is to reading the codes on your KRX 1000. If you need any parts to get the correct repairs made, you can find those on the OEM diagrams on our website. So make sure you check that out. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this for your KRX, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.